you have been fooled you've been lied to we have all been lied to this whole time and i'm about to tell you why If this is your first time seeing me here in the YouTube world, my name is Angie Does, and on this channel we do hair videos and we also do really cool fun advice videos and we have a series going on at the moment. If you want to see that kind of content, I will be linking that down below, but I know why you clicked on today's video so I'm not going to waste your time at all and we're going to get right into it. And hair porosity is so much more important than knowing your curl pattern and I know what you're thinking, but knowing your curl pattern will help you buy products, etc. You have been fooled, you've been lied to, we have all been lied to this whole time, and I'm about to tell you why. Hair porosity, you've probably heard of this, you probably haven't. Literally knowing your hair's porosity can help you figure out what curl pattern you have, it's that serious. Personally, knowing my hair's porosity has helped me find out, like even to the point of like what products I should buy, or need to be buying to make sure my hair looks like this. I would see other girls with similar curl patterns like me, um, curl types, and I'd be like, well, why when I use that product she's using on me, it's just sitting on my hair, it's not, my hair is not soaking it in, it's just flaking off, why is it not working the same? Hair porosity. So, what is hair porosity, right? We hear it all the time or you've never heard it before. What is hair porosity? What does that mean? Hair porosity is simple literally just your hair's ability to retain and absorb moisture okay and everyone like okay can you what does that mean right so the porosity of your hair affects how it takes in oils moistures protein treatments etc when i say your hair we mean the cuticle of the hair what is the cuticle of the hair not here not the root this the legit strand you have cuticles along your hair strand okay so when it comes to hair porosity there are three types okay we're gonna make it really simple i don't want to confuse you at all in this video before i do tell you the three there is one that some people argue is considered the bad porosity but i want to just be honest in my opinion from the research that i've done i don't think that it is a bad you, there is such thing as bad porosity of course if you bleach your hair often and do all this bad stuff put all these chemicals in your hair yes your cuticle will be weak but it, there is people there are people that are born with weak cuticles for their hair but before we even jump jump the gun let me explain there are three types of hair porosity levels okay low medium slash normal and high porosity low porosity means your hair does not let moisture in or out those cuticles are bound together so tight that like it's very difficult to moisten them up do treatments etc these types of um hair cuticles are prone to dryness or product build up the second porosity level is medium slash normal normal to medium porosity just means that your hair lets the right amount of moisture and etc like treatments and stuff going to your hair it holds styles really well but it is still prone to dryness but that's rarely like not really that doesn't really happen too much and then last but not least high porosity high porosity hair people tend to really talk badly about this kind of porosity but the best way to put it is that your cuticles on the strand are just shaped in a really unusual way you know sometimes there's cuticles missing they're just placed in really funny ways like there's no need to talk so badly about it but what do you mean by that okay your cuticles are weird if you have this type of porosity area right what does that mean there's just tiny gaps or holes so that just means that sometimes the moisture goes in sometimes the moisture goes out so meaning just as easy as it is to receive the moisture it's just as easy to let it for it to fall out plus your hair is prone, more prone to being frizzy when you have this. The conditioning treatments really, really help with this. For this video, I did the cup test. So that's the water test where you fill up the cup all the way and you, you fill it up with room temperature water, take a piece of your hair and put it into the cup. And for four minutes, max per Google's instructions, you see if the hair floats, sinks, or stays in the middle. If you are considering doing the cut test, please note that some people have tested that that one doesn't really, it's kind of iffy because when you place a hair on a cup of water, it's normally going to flow. So you kind of got to swirl it in there and see what it does or decides to do. Um, but it's really important that you have clean hair when you do that kind of test. And like I did in this video, I washed my hair before I did it and then I placed it in. Another thing to note too is because I have two types of curl patterns, I had to do the test twice with the different sections of hair. And of course, it's true because I had different 
results in the end so on camera i may not show but this is also day two curls so um in the middle is where it's my frizziest okay i know you can't tell but yeah the middle is my frizziest the outermost layer it's like the crown is not this is a different porosity but this is a different porosity i don't know if that makes sense my hair is also very thick so that explains a lot so in theory my middle the middle of my head is high porosity while the outer layer outer layer is normal porosity the reason why i wanted to bring that up about people saying that oh um high porosity is bad it's really bad hair i, I did a big chop i haven't dyed it or anything this is completely normal and natural and i've just come to the conclusion that the reason that the middle of my head is frizzy but the outer part is not that crazy is because of the two different property types slash the two different curl patterns so that yes that does mean that i require different i have to maneuver a certain way and use different products to make the middle and the outer layer work so i hope this was a bit clearer for you on what hair porosity is what hair porosity means how it works if you can have more than one hair porosity yeah you can hair porosity type you can have more than one curl pattern like this was i hope this was just completely clear for you and made a whole bunch of sense if you already know what hair porosity type you have please comment that down below are you like me do you have two types let me know in the comments i'm really really interested i want to have that conversation and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate you coming to today's video and make sure to like and subscribe show love and please look in my videos to see other hair videos.